And now, politicians may not have taken bold action, but tonight, Americans are. ABC News has learned that as of today, one million American consumers are hurling a lightning bolt warning at the big banks, moving their money out in protest. As we've reported, the Goliath banks did an about face, abandoning plans for those $5 fees on debit cards, but other fees have been creeping in. And a lot of Americans are saying we have another option. ABC's Matt Gutman has been on this story for weeks and brings us the news tonight. The big banks may have retreated on those $5 debit fees, but hundreds of thousands of Americans are on the march, outraged at all the other fees for overdrafts, even using the ATM. That means across the country, people like small business owner David Minert are mutinying. I'm moving uh, my money from uh, four of my businesses to out of Bank of America and Chase. Bringing three million dollars worth of business with him. That kind of money and, and my level of business actually doesn't really matter to them. For Minor, the end came when his banks refused a new line of credit. For others like Kristen Christian, it was that ATM fee. I couldn't support the principle behind the $5 fee structure that targeted anyone with less than $20,000 in accounts because those people couldn't afford it. Disgusted, Christian launched Bank Transfer Day on Facebook, slated for tomorrow. Now, 78,000 people say they're going to join her. In October alone, credit unions reporting an influx of 650,000 new customers, a 13-fold spike from their average month raking in over $4.5 billion in new deposits. Each bank is going to do what's in the best interest of their customer and their shareholders. Tomorrow, Diane, tens of thousands will close their accounts at big banks and look to small banks who say they're not going to charge them those fees. The big banks are saying no matter what happens, they'll have to recoup that revenue, meaning a future with more fees and probably some more upset customers.